Well, first up to that big event in space, especially for India. After a long 24-hour journey with Amras and Mungdal, Kahalwa Group Captain Shubanshu Shukla became the first Indian to go to the International Space Station managed by SpaceX. The four-mission crew Dragon docket at the ISS making an important moment uh, in its journey there, Vasudha. That's right, Veera. A momentous occasion for all Indians and all space enthusiasts across the world as Shubranshu Shukla, or Group Captain Shubranshu Shukla, is the only second Indian to go to space after Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma went to space aboard a Soviet spacecraft in 1984. The four-person crew, including Mission Commander Peggy Whitson of the United States of America and Mission Specialist from Poland and Hungary, will stay at SpaceX's International Space Station for the next two weeks. That's right, Vasudha. We'll wait for some special guests to join us in just a bit. But uh, you can see those pictures of the greetings and those fascinating moments in space. Uh, obviously, all Indian space enthusiasts and as well as space enthusiasts around the world uh, watching it very closely, live and continuing coverage here on NDTV on that big moment uh, in space. Uh, fascinating uh, images there that have been beamed out of there. Remember, 41 years ago and last evening, uh, Vasudha, I was chatting with a few astronauts uh, and, uh, you know, uh, astrophysicists who were there on the show. And I was asking them what was the difference between 41 years ago when they saw Rakesh Sharma yeah. become the first Indian to enter space. And now they said that the big difference is black and white TV and color TV, internet and you know, waiting for the newspapers to get the information then. So much has changed in terms of times, uh, both in Earth and perhaps in space, Vasudha. Absolutely, Veera. In fact, uh, Captain, uh, Group Captain Shubhranshu Shukla says that he was not even born when Rakesh Sharma or Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma went to space. And uh, clearly, he says that he is relearning to uh, uh, live and eat and uh, sleep like a baby because, uh, you know, he has to spend, uh, he spent almost over 30 hours on that uh, Crew Dragon. And of course, now he has to spend two weeks at the International Space Station. A big responsibility on all of these uh, astronauts and specialists. But yes, all our wishes are with them. Uh, we do have some special guests with us today, Dr. B.R. Guru right. Prasad, who is the direct, director of Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium in Bengaluru. We also have other guests who will be joining us in just a bit. Uh, we also have Dr. Venkateshwara Sharma, who is a former deputy director of DRDO. Dr. Guru Prasad, help us right. understand how is this such a big milestone for India's space journey uh, and uh, you know how would you look at these visuals how would you describe them for us how challenging is it going to be for these people for the next few days uh, namaskar good evening and uh, i don't know how to describe it even even i am so uh, you know uh, touched uh, by these kind of uh, visuals Look at the way in which uh, these rookies, these three people, Shubanshu Shukla, uh, Slavos Buznanski, uh, 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 and uh, uh, Tibor Kapu, all the three, how they are floating, how they are enjoying their uh, weightless environment, in fact. I, the ambience is so touching, really, and the way in which uh, they are enjoying weightless, uh, weightlessness, really, really, it's a matter of... Uh, I don't know. The thing is, uh, let us say it's a matter of special, special, special celebration for India. Because, you know, I, I was watching uh, uh, in the afternoon uh, the the words of uh, uh, Shubhanshu Shukla and he was so emotional. And uh, the way in which uh, he was expressing his feelings, it was easy. It was really touching. And his colleagues were so much supportive, I saw. And, uh, you know, he was telling, you know, emotionally speaking, he said uh, that, you know, Tiranga was on my uh, uh, patch there on my shoulder. And I am not the one who has right. come to space. I am representing, I have brought 140 crore people, all the Indians. It was so touching. Right. And, you know, as, as uh, Virago was mentioning, yes, Rakesh Sharma's uh, flight was black and white TV era. That's what yesterday I was telling that on <laughs> April 3rd, 1984, I watched it on a black and white TV in one of my friend's house. Okay. And, you know, from Doordarshan, we had the visual and uh, it was compared to International right. Space Station and uh, Crew Dragon. So, your spacecraft is a little smaller right. one, quite a bit uh, smaller one. And compared to that, look right. at the kind of facilities, the kind of uh, uh, special ambience you have in the International oh, absolutely. Space Station. Uh -huh. 
and it is very nice as you're and speaking, for Indians, it's a matter of pride. As you're speaking, sir, we are sending out live pictures that have been coming in to us uh, from that space station, not live, just a little while ago when they all entered uh, that international space station. Dr. Uh, Venkateshwar Sharma, what would be the key challenges? Perhaps the next big television moment would be the re-entry time. But uh, over the next two weeks, what would be the key challenges out there, both for the astronauts as well as for the crew on the ground here? Uh, namaskar, good evening. Namaskaram. How are you? All in the uh, really very, very happy moment for all of us. And uh, as a rocket scientist, space scientist, and having worked in this Gaganyan for uh, time immemorial myself, uh, I feel it is a great achievement in, in uh, you know, two aspects. One is that uh, the amount of technical knowledge, amount of uh, uh, scientific knowledge, amount of experience that we have got, uh, right from training him from 2019 till putting him into ISS is something which we have to uh, take it uh, in, a, uh, in a in a way that is useful for us in our uh, Gaganyan and the human space programs, which, uh, you know, there is always a purpose with which we do anything and everything. And that is one big, big, you know, uh, achievement. And the learning that has happened over uh, this, you know, uh, ISS uh, um, uh, uh, program as not getting into ISS is something which uh, I, as a scientist, as a te technocrat, as an engineer, I think it is a very big learning. This is one part. Uh, second part is that, of course, uh, the you know blessings and uh, the best wishes of 140 crore people who kept confidence in this row, uh, say you know encouraging on, in every step, even when we had uh, successes and failures, and uh, bringing us to this level of sending an astronaut, our own astronaut who was selected in 2019, trained at uh, Russia, trained at uh, NASA, trained at uh, ISRO, Bangalore, and putting him into space uh, is a re really a great uh, you know, achievement. And uh, uh, the joy that you can see across the country, across the student community, across industrialists, and across uh, uh, all the you know uh, type of people is something which uh, so far is a success which we necessarily need to take it forward in our own mission because we do everything with a purpose. The second part is that mm. uh, the next 14 days are going to be really important and uh, mm. uh, something which we say that we are going to start the work now. Uh, our you know, uh, activity starts now with something which we have to see. And uh, the uh, out of uh, 60 experiments which have been planned, uh, supported by 30 countries, the most you know important seven experiments which uh, so once Shukla is scheduled to do, uh, if you classify it broadly, if you can see mm -hmm. that how to grow uh, the plants in uh, space and in the microgravity and how, how does it make a difference? Right. How do you analyze the, you know, the plant which is grown in the space, the microgravity to that of the earth from the, from the nutrients, etc., etc., is one part. That is, if ever an astronaut, see, this seven experiment has a purpose. If mm -hmm. ever an astronaut goes to space, right. how does he grow and make his own food? And how does he make his own living in terms of, you know, um, maintaining his, uh, you know, uh, ma uh, right. muscle mass, uh, right. uh, etc. And most importantly, the uh, one of the experiment which is also planned is uh, to operate uh, the, you know, laptops, okay. keyboards and the uh, things which are uh, useful right. directly, immediately for our Gaganyan mission pending 2026 and 2027. Oh, absolutely. In Absolutely. We'll be looking forward to that. Sometimes I wonder whether it would have been much better. I don't know if I had the hard work or the ability much better to have been an uh, astrophysicist or at least aim to be an astronaut instead of being a journalist, television anchor, Vasudha. Absolutely. Thanks very much to both of you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks very there's much, there's so uh, much of mathematics and there's so much of data. And like you rightly said, uh, you know, there's so much right. uh, work that goes into this. Right, absolutely. Thanks very much to our guests there. Captain, group, group Captain Subhanshu Shukla entered the International Space between. Station just Thanks a while ago. Those are opening and, remarks uh, there. And uh, we can't wait to, to spend this time together. Thank you. And last but not least, number 636, Tibor Kapu. <laughs> <laughs> practice. It got easier. <laughs> awesome. Easier, guy. <laughs> All right. So, um, thank you very much, you guys, for this really, really warm welcome. Um, 
I really feel that this is the best crew that we could join to. Um, it really feels great to be a part of Expedition 73. As Tactic Commander said that uh, we have so many uh, countries in the same time in the stage, uh, space station, but we also have seven uh, out of eleven who are complete new flyers, which also tells me uh, how much space is expanding uh, towards a new era. Um, one of my friends told me uh, a few, two days ago um, when I was asking him uh, what should I what should I tell in space, what should be my speeches about, and he said that if ever if there's ever a time for you know speaking from the heart, then that it, this is it. this is it. And my heart is so full right now because of because of you guys and because of seeing Earth for the first time. Uh, there is a lot to choose from. <laughs> so I'm extremely happy. Happy to be here. Happy to represent my country. Um, on our ride up, we actually saw our countries uh, flying above those. It's, it's truly, truly a special feeling. Um, looking forward for these two weeks. Um, I'm 100% sure that this is going to be awesome. Thank you. और एक छोटा सा संदेश मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों के लिए आपके प्यार और आशीर्वाद से सुरक्षित मैं इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन पे इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन पे पहुंच चुका हूं और बहुत आसान दिख रहा है यहाँ खड़े होना लेकिन थोड़ा सा मुश्किल है थोड़ा सा सर भारी है थोड़ी तकलीफ हो रही है लेकिन ये सब बहुत छोटी चीज़ें हैं और कुछ ही दिनों में हम इसके यूज टू हो जाएंगे और ये पहला पड़ाव है इस जर्नी का और अभी आगे चौदह दिन यहाँ पे रह के हम काफ़ी सारे साइंस एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करेंगे आप लोगों से बातचीत करेंगे आ, लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं ये ये जो पड़ाव है ये ये भी दिखाता है कि ये हमारी अपनी स्पेस जर्नी का भी एक पड़ाव है तो मैंने बात की थी आपसे कुछ देर पहले जब मैं ड्रैगन में था और अभी यहाँ से आगे भी बात करता रहूँगा चलिए इस जर्नी को बहुत एक्साइटिंग बनाते हैं बहुत उत्साह से इसमें पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं मैं बहुत उत्साहित हूँ और मैं अपने शोल्डर पे अपना तिरंगा जो मैं लेके चल रहा हूँ मैं मानता हूँ कि आप सब मेरे साथ हैं तो मैं ये भी ये भी समझ लेता हूँ कि आप सब भी मेरे साथ उत्साहित हैं और, और मुझे लगता है कि अगले चौदह दिन बहुत ही एक्साइटिंग जाने वाले हैं धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत Thank you, Jukes. <laughs> Drodzy Polacy, drogie Polki, cieszę się, że mogę tutaj Was powitać z, z pokładu Międzynarodowej Stacji Kosmicznej. Po raz pierwszy jesteśmy na, na stacji, po raz pierwszy mamy polską misję na Międzynarodową Stację Kosmiczną i, i bardzo się cieszę, że mogę reprezentować właśnie Was, 40 milionów Polaków, którzy, którzy, którzy mają możliwość obejrzenia misji, ale jednocześnie kontrybuowania do e, części naukowej, technologicznej i, i wykonywania eksperymentów na Międzynarodowej Stacji Kosmicznej. Będziemy prowadzić również e, lekcje fizyki dla, dla dzieci w szkół, dla studentów i mam nadzieję, że to jest początek Polski technologicznej, e, obrazu Polski na świecie właśnie w takich miejscach jak Międzynarodowa Stacja Kosmiczna czy najbardziej zaawansowane laboratoria technologiczne. E, bardzo dziękuję Wam za zaufanie. Tak jak już wcześniej mówiłem, kosmos jednoczy. Jesteśmy tutaj razem, jesteśmy silni i budujemy naszą przyszłość. Dziękuję bardzo za zaufanie i do zobaczenia przez najbliższe dwa tygodnie. And over to Tibor. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> There's always a first time for anything, right? <laughs> Üdvözlök mindenkit a világűrbe. Ha jól számolok, akkor 2009 óta először hangzanak el magyar szavak innen a, a Nemzetközi Ülállomás fedezetéről. Csás után, aki kétszer is járt itt, én, én álltok a következő, aki magyarul beszél ezek a, ezen, ezen falak között. Hatalmas megtiszteltetés és elképesztő büske, büszkeség számomra. Alig 30 óra se vagyunk a világűrben, de már volt alkalmam beszélni a szüleimmel egy pár perce, akik elmondták azt, hogy az ő szemükkel mit láttak a Földről, amikor, amikor mi elhagytuk azt, és már látjuk, hogy, hogy micsoda hatása lesz ennek a küldetésnek, és amikor azt mondom, hogy küldetés, ez nem véletlen, nekünk ezzel a pár következő nappal, héttel valóban egy küldetésünk van. Nem csak egy tudományos küldetésről beszélünk, nem csak kísérleteket fogunk elvégezni, egy inspirációs jelleggel is vagyunk itt. Szeretném megmutatni azt, hogy 
még egy ilyen kis nemzetnek is sikerült egy ekkora hatalmas dolgot végrehajtania. Én vallom azt, hogy kis nemzetek tudnak a legnagyobbat támadni. Szeretném megköszönni mindenkinek azt, hogy lehetővé tette ezt a küldetést, ezt a lehetővé tette ezt az elmúlt pár órát és a következő napokat. Még egyszer csak azt tudom mondani, hogy rendkívül hálás és büszke vagyok, hogy, hogy magyarként itt lehetek. Well, thank you again. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you again <laughs> for welcoming us so so openly and warmly. Uh, we really, really appreciate all of you and all of the team on the ground as well. Thank you. moment there in space uh, we're all used to holding mics all through our careers but i wonder how the mic would feel up there on space without gravity what a beautiful moment there full smiles historic moment for india as well there group captain shubanshu shukla along with the rest of uh, those from the mission axiom 4 along with those who were there at the international space station so fascinating images from space that's uh, where all of us all of our attention is at the moment right. fascinating moments there vasuda it's uh, it's perhaps once in a lifetime to see those kind of moments i wonder how so the mic would feel without gravity we are used to holding it all the time but how does it feel without gravity? Absolutely. That's what Group Captain Shubhranshu Shukla said today, Veera, that, you know, the head feels heavy uh, and things feel a little different in the body. But, uh, of course, that is just, uh, uh, you know, a small thing. He is quite excited to be there. He has actually spoken in Hindi with that beautiful message to all Indians saying that, you know, he's here and he, he knows that everybody right. is watching out for him and praying for him. And he said that he's safe and uh, he's looking forward to an exciting time on that International I'm sure. Space Station. Uh, I'm sure his mom would be thrilled to have heard him speak there from space. Uh, 